Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. We got a new unboxing. This one is the Mutant Leader figure from 112 Collective. Now, yes, this figure has been out for quite some time, but you know, we want to fill in our gaps of our 112 collection. So, we're going to go a little retro in some ways and uh, see how this figure holds up. Now, right away, the box is very different from the various other releases from 112 Collective. We've got a uh, clear cover. Uh, usually it's a actual like solid kind of more cardboard ish so a little bit different than what we've seen and we of course get a look of the figure inside throughout and the box itself is uh, it's pretty solid like it's got that um, like destroyed wasteland of where uh, look and background of where uh, Batman goes and meets up the mutant leader to go like you know beat the crap out of him as with most of the boxes we get some art on the inside this one isn't uh, art of the traditional sense, we usually see like comic book uh, images in there. Instead, we get a little done up picture of the mutant leader itself from uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns. But the big question we've got is how's the figure hold up? Now, this is one of the cheaper figures from 112 Collective, um, so I'm not quite expecting as much from it, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's been quite some time, they've done a whole lot of releases since then. And it seems that 112 is kind of like learning from everything they've released and are doing uh, better stuff since. First and foremost, we need to be able to get this out of the box. That seems to be some issues. Weird. All right. Way more of a struggle than it should have been. Alright, let's actually look at the figure itself. Let's see. How it holds up. So first, let's get it out of this package. Yeah, definitely the package has shifted since this came out. Most of them have a much shallower plastic cover for the figure. Alright, let's look at the figure itself though. Uh, as with all the 112 Collective figures, it has got a lot of articulation, which is exactly what I'd expect. There's a little bit of weight to this, which is kind of uh, interesting, and a lot of the other figures I don't quite uh, remember there being as much weight. I think a lot of it's on the upper chest, which feels much more solid, so uh, I wouldn't be shocked if this is a little bit different of material than some of the other figures. Um, it feels like it's different material than some of the other figures. Uh, as far as articulation, it does have tons of articulation. Uh, there's a little bit at the feet. Uh, it's not quite as solid as some of the other figures. Of course, we've got articulation at the knees, the hip, the waist, or actually that's more the abdomen. Uh, the waist a little bit, actually a lot. Uh, arms have full articulation. It's very stiff. And then the head we've seen has the full movement around. So there, it's, it's pretty good. Um, kind of want to do my stand test to see if the figure stands easily without even, uh, uh, you know, doing much to make that happen. Uh, as far as the detail, I think the figure is really solid. So we've got uh, the eye bands, which has a clear plastic in that. And if you look, you can actually see the figure's eyes underneath the clear the plastic, the visor, which I think is pretty good. Um, the painting, I think, is really solid as well. There's like a slight shading to it. It's very subtle. I don't know how well it's going to come off in the video, but it's there. Um, the belt has a little bit to be desired. I mean, it's kind of generic. There's not much to it other than the uh, orange and silver balls. Uh, and then we got spikes around the wrists and spikes around the ankles, which are pretty good. And then the toes are painted pretty decent. What I actually think is impressive, and it's probably hard to see, is the toenails are all very different. Um, the right foot and the left foot are different things. It's not just some like flipped uh, design. There is uniqueness for each as far as the length of the various toenails. Um, it's very present in the big toe. So, uh, you know, that's a small subtle thing that I actually think is uh, makes a difference. Like that's a small subtle uh, difference of the figure. The hands though, doesn't quite have that. I mean, they look slightly different, but not a ton. So um, I think it's a pretty big deal as far as the, the pants. The pants kind of feel like a leather-ish. Um, I don't know what the proper 
material is, but uh, you know we've seen it a whole bunch of times and it will hold up pretty well. Uh, so overall, I like I'm actually impressed with this figure for the for the price of it. The you don't get tons of accessories, but the detail is really solid, especially for a figure that's you know shirtless with muscles and uh, basically a pair of pants. So I'm kind of impressed as far as uh, the small details of the figure. As far as a base, we of course get a base with the picture of the mutant uh, face on it. Like a lot of the bases have special uh, uh, pictures on them. Um, when it comes to accessories, we've got hands, like oh, just one set of extra hands. We don't get tons of them like we've seen with other uh, figures. A lot of the other figures might have like two or three sets of different hands. This has just got two extra hands. Um, we also get a torch for uh, the figure to put in its hand, which is kind of cool. Some good detail on it. I kind of like the rust effect here. And then we get the flame going around, kind of reflects on the top of it, which I think is good. Uh, the rust effect, I think, is actually really good, painted on the, uh, the torch itself. And then we, of course, got a crowbar for him to do battle with the Dark Knight. The crowbar, too, has really good rust effect on it. Uh, interesting texture as well. Um, you know, it's not just painted on. There is some texture to it. So that's all, uh, that's actually really good. And then as far as face, we've got him with the busted nose, little iconic there, and then him like screaming out in anger with the visor. You can of course swap the uh, the heads around the figure. Uh, let's see if there's anything underneath. We've got the stand. Uh, this is different. We don't usually see this in the various boxes. So you can tell this is a really old design of the, uh, the materials like the packing box and all that. Uh, but you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, overall, I mean, I'm actually kind of impressed with this figure. It's a really simple figure, uh, but the detail is is excellent, and I think particularly the painting and the shading is done really, really well. Uh, the or of course, the articulation of the figure is solid, uh, and the head details are uh, are really good as well. Um, I think this one's actually really amazing. The the mouth and uh, tongue and all that all look really, really great. So. Um, Overall, I think a really, really solid figure. I mean, for the price, it's generally uh, like way cheaper than most of the other 112 collective figures. Um, so this is a cool addition to the, to the collection. I mean, like, I'm actually pretty happy that I got it. You should actually still be able to get this online, even though it's been out for a while. It has not sold out. Clearly, there's not too many fans of the Mutant Leader when it comes to the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, but this is a, a good figure to add to the collection, especially there aren't tons of villains uh, produced yet. So um, this is a good one. So overall, I'm, I'm getting a thumbs up. I'm actually impressed with it. This is the second time I've kind of had to eat my words as far as uh, a figure and what my expectations were. Especially with the lower price point, I think it's a pretty solid deal. Uh, you can get yours now. we got a link beneath this video, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it and it hasn't sold out. Uh, you know, we've reviewed tons of other 112 collective figures. If you want to go check those out, we got nice links on this video. If you're into Batman, Dark Knight Returns, 112 Collective, Mezco, any of that, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, when in doubt, be the Batman. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.